Welcome to CEO Money, I'm Michael Yorba. Thanks for joining us. My guest today is Mark Cummins, CEO and founder of Pointy. Mark, welcome to the show. Nice to be here, thank you. All right, I'm glad you're here. All right, give our viewing audience a background on you, your company, and then let's dive into what's happened since you were last on our show. Cool, so, so Pointy is a tool for local retailers. So we have help local retailers get more visible online. So a typical local retailer, they might have their opening hours online, they might have a Yelp profile, Facebook page, but that, that retailer's got like 10,000, 20,000 products in their store. And if you type in the name of any of those products, you're gonna see Amazon and not the local retailer. So we help those retailers come up in those searches. So we have a, we actually have a device, got one here. They attach that device to their barcode scanner, they scan a product, and we're gonna put that product that they scan right up on their web page instantly. And we help it get found through SEO and, and, and ad campaigns. So if you're a local consumer, you say, where's the nearest place I can buy this beer? And your local store is on Pointy, you're gonna see the results from your local store instead of just from Amazon or other big online retailers. So it helps the local retailers stand up online and be found. Great, brilliant. Now you've had some tremendous growth since the last time we spoke to you. Tell our audience about that. Yeah, so like we, we are growing 16, 17% every month at the moment. We're, we're twice as big as we were in February. We're four times as big as we were six months ago. Uh, it's just taken off like a rocket, really, with local retailers. It's it's in every every state across all fifty states, everywhere from Hawaii to Alaska, pretty much every every city, even every town in America, I think, has now got one or two Pointy retailers. So about half a percent, like one in two hundred of every retailer in the U.S. now using Pointy, and we think by October it'll be about one in a hundred, and we want it to be more like you know more like every retailer. So we're on, on the path, and it's it's been going really well. All right, tell us about the bottom line. How's that affected the company? It's one thing to get product in, but it's a whole other thing to be able to move that through the revenue line. Talk to us about that. Yeah, I mean, so right now we're kind of more in the, the customer sort of growth phase. I mean, so we're like retailers pay a one-time fee to join the service, and after that it's free, and there's some add-on services they can buy if they want to. And so right now we've got a lot of retailers signing up. We have some of them, like a lot of them pay for the premium features. But right now it's like, you know, they take a little while to like learn the product and sometimes convert to the premium features. And so they, they never have to use those if they don't want it. They can pay once and just use it for free. And so a lot of them are kind of moving through that journey with us where they're, they're starting to use it, they're learning about it. And uh, hopefully over time, we think that'll be a good business for us. All right, I'm gonna circle back just a little bit because I'd like the audience to understand the success story from the beginning. Tell us about being the first person in the United Kingdom to sell a company to Google. That's, that's really kind of where it all started, right? Yeah, right, so this is my second business. So my first business I started right out of college. Um, I just you know didn't really know much about what I was doing, but I said, all right, let's give this a try. So I started up a company, it was actually based in AI and machine learning. So it was a computer vision company. Uh, it was a bit like Shazam with a picture. So you could point your phone at a, a painting or an object and it would tell you more about the object. Uh, and that company ended up being acquired by Google after about 18 months or two years of existence. And so then I joined Google and worked for Google on the search engine team for a couple of years. Um, and one of the things that frustrated me at Google was, you know, I could search the entire internet in half a second, but like really simple question, like where can I find a particular product? You know, I had to ring up local stores and find out. And so that's why that what led me that, that in, into finding Pointy. Brilliant, brilliant. Now, I, I wanted to find out from you, are you growing the company only through organic growth or are you open to investors coming in and partnering up with you to expand new horizons? Yeah, so we've just taken on, uh, in the last 12 months, we've taken on $18 million of investment. Um, and so some of the investors were back, uh, Paul Allen is the co-founder of uh, Microsoft. His, uh, his fund is backing us. A fund called Draper Associates, or a pretty famous VC in the Valley. Uh, Polaris Partners are another well-known VC. So we have a lot of um, really top-tier venture capitalists, very well-connected people, including actually the founder of WordPress, the founder of Google Maps. And, and having their backing and their support and their network um, is a tremendous help. And it really you know, kind of guides you in, in you know, what, what way to grow the company and you know, sort of some key introductions and all that kind of thing. It's very helpful. Brilliant, brilliant. Is there anything I may have left out on today's interview? Uh, I mean, I think that's good. I mean, I think one of the big things that we've done recently is um, we've had a big partnership we announced with Google. So Google have a new uh, way to display products on Google Maps, and we're one of the first companies to offer that integration. So uh, that's free for retailers, and uh, it's it's pretty popular. And we're also now partnered with a lot of the big um, 
like modern point of sale systems like a Square, Clover, Lightspeed. So for those systems, you can actually install the Pointy, uh, Pointy as an app direct from the App Store, and it's it's free to get started on those systems. So that, those have been a big growth channel for us as well. Brilliant. I can't wait for the next interview. I know there's going to be another quantum leap in your company. Thank you very much. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you. You've been watching CEO Money with Michael Yorba. Don't forget, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.